Welcome to your Ethereum News Roundup. Here's your latest for Monday, March 4th, 2024. The SEC delays its decision for BlackRock's Ethereum ETF. Optimism releases a blob savings estimator. Paradigm releases an article on raising the block gas limit. And Etherfy partners with Omni Network. All this and more starts right after this message. This episode is made possible thanks to Optimism's retroactive public goods funding. If you'd like to support this podcast, please collect today's episode as an NFT at ethdaily.io forward slash NFT. The price of Ether is up 4.5% over the last 24 hours, currently trading at $3,624 at the time of recording. The U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission has postponed its decision on BlackRock's application for a spot Ethereum ETF. BlackRock filed a Form S1 with the SEC last November for its proposed iShares Ethereum Trust. The Ethereum ETF would be traded on the Nasdaq exchange once approved. The ETF provides investors Ethereum exposure without having to own ETH directly. BlackRock intends to hold actual ETH, which will be held by the Coinbase Custody Trust Company. The SEC has up to 240 days to make a decision on the application. Fennec is one of the first asset managers to apply for an Ethereum ETF. May 23rd of this year marks the final deadline for the SEC to make a decision on Fennec's Ethereum ETF. OP Labs introduced the Superchain Savings Estimator, a tool designed to compare transaction fees on OP stack chains before and after the activation of the Denkun upgrade. OP Labs engineers anticipate a significant reduction in transaction fees to cents across all OP stack chains once blob transactions are integrated. The tool allows users to input any transaction hash to simulate cost savings. For example, executing a swap on Uniswap on base currently incurs a cost of about 60 cents, a figure expected to plummet to less than a cent. EAP4844 blob transactions are slated to go live on Ethereum mainnet on March 13th, with support on the OP stack coming the following day on March 14th. Users can access the tool at welovetheblobs.xyz. Paradigm released a research article about increasing Ethereum's block gas limit. The article explores the concept of state growth within Ethereum and its correlation with the gas limit. It distinguishes between state growth, history growth, state access, and the gas limit, each presenting distinct scalability challenges. The article highlights Ethereum's scaling bottlenecks, hardware constraints, and gas limits impacting various aspects such as network bandwidth, storage capacity, memory, and I.O. operations. Proposed solutions to address state growth currently include rollups, vertical trees, and state expiry. The article advocates for an empirical approach for increasing Ethereum's block gas limit. An increase in the block gas limit would permit more data to be included in each block. And lastly, EtherFi, the largest liquid restaking protocol with close to $2 billion in total value locked, partnered with Rollup Interoperability Protocol Omni Network. EtherFi committed to delegate $600 million worth of ETH to economically secure Omni Network by running as an actively validated service on EigenLayer and selecting EtherFi node operators. EtherFi's eETH is also now supported on the Circuit LRT restaking protocol. In other news, the Uniswap Foundation issues its first grant for 2024, an alien CryptoPunk NFT sells for 4,500 Ether, and the WorldCoin app crosses over 50 million transactions. This has been a roundup of today's top news stories in Ethereum. You can support this podcast by subscribing and following us on X at ETH Daily. Also subscribe to our newsletter at ethdaily.io. Thanks for listening. We'll see you tomorrow.